Look, stalker. Don't forget about that package. In the South Accordion. How are you doing? Welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. <clears throat> Do you have any work? Chimera heart, meh, burr hand, meh, meh, meh. Okay, never mind. Uh, we are, well, uh, we're gonna go to sleep, actually. I don't feel like wandering around in Yanter. Yanter? Yant? Yant? Yantem? Y y what is this place? Y yam Yamter? Yamtam. This place is now called Yamtam. You can't change my mind. Um... You guys are in my way. Oh God. Okay, all right. I was like really worried that we were soft blocked there for a moment. Nice early in the morning, Yantar. Early in the morning, we get up, get out of bed. We drag a comb across our head. We eat some snork. We get on out. We greet the day. You know, we, we may pro maybe we have some more snork, you know, sometimes you feel like snorking it times two, you know, have two snorks. And then you hit the draft, hit that, hit a dram, a dram or two, maybe just the one. And then, uh, you know, we, we go through the checklist. What's our checklist? Well, what are we going to do? We're going to go to y uh, the center of Yantar, retrieve the encrypted documents and... Oh God, Master Cherniak. Your current target is going to be a monolith known by the name Master Cherniak. He has been seen in Laboratory 16. Oh God, what? He's actually there. He's in the laboratory. I don't want to go back there. Oh God, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to. I don't want to fight a, a freaking monolith master. Oh my good God, no, no, please, please do not ask me to do that. Like, first of all, I don't want to go back to, to the lab. I, I, I feel like I only just escaped the lab. Okay, that's the first thing. The second thing is, no, please, stop. Like, that's, that's the second thing. So, you know, our checklist is not good so far, you know. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of our checklist. So we're going to ditch the checklist. Sometimes the second thing on the checklist is ditch the checklist. Um, the fourth thing on the checklist. Oh my god. Well, the fourth thing on the checklist is actually make sure all of our magazines have bullets in them. And uh, if you're reloading your gun and it only has two bullets in the magazine, you know you done goofed. You done goofed it. You goofed really hard, honestly. And it could have cost you everything. How much did it cost you? It cost me my life. Um... Now, what, what what is happening here? Oh, right, I gotta... Okay, uh, put an actual magazine in there. I refuse to believe... I, I had VidCactus in my comments saying that it, the, the magazine is actually loaded. It just shows zero bullets, you know, it's something, something. And I, I'm sorry, I refuse to believe that. What, what is going on with this magazine? Why can't I load it? Yo, load it. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Oh my good god, this is this is quite the start to an episode. How many bullets do we have? And, well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and top that off and throw that in there and uh we'll we'll figure it out. Don't know what our next perk is going to be. I'm actually I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of all of the perks. Like I I I've I've cut, I've gotten almost all of them. All of the major important ones, at the very least. You know, I've gotten quite a lot of important perks. I won't, I won't lie, I'm a little bit tempted. I'm a little bit tempted to go after that Monolith Master. He might have really good stuff, and it's probably worth quite a, a, a nice pretty penny. But, oh my god, I don't want to go there. I do not want to go there. I hate that place. He is still there. We've got two stashes that I, I need to pick up. So it's not like we're in lack of things to do. Maybe, you know what, if he's still there, 
by the time I get those two stashes, then then we'll, I'll talk. I'll think about it. I mean, I did I did take on a chimera single-handedly in the last episode. Not that that counts for much. I I know you know like this is the problem with video games. I, I've talked about this before, but you know what? People forget, and also sometimes new people discover your channel. I don't expect that second part to be true, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say my piece anyway. I think, I think, um, gamers have ruined video games in a way. And by, I don't mean like the games are worse. I actually, in a lot of ways, games are getting better. I think that video games, the hobby is kind of getting worse. It's weird to even put it in context of a, of a hobby sometimes, you know, it's hard to believe that sometimes we do this for fun. Because sometimes, like, it, it just feels like people have been, people be making a career out of video games. Well, how, where is all of this coming from? Where, like, where, how did I get here? You know, when I say things like, oh, guys, I took on a chimera. I just, like, I invent a human being in my mind. who's like, well, that's nothing. That is absolutely nothing. Um, you're celebrating literally nothing. And, um... Here are all of my achievements. Um, and here's, you know, like, and I guess, like, what does it matter? You know what? Um, like, as long as we're inventing a human being, I, I will say. What does it matter? Like, yeah, okay, okay, you did better things. Like, um, you know, I think that, uh, people like to say that, that, uh, you know, sticks and stones, yada, yada, and words can never hurt. Words hurt. Words suck. That's words of, uh, words are all we've got now in a lot of ways, you know? We don't, we don't have the sticks and stones. All we've got is hurt. All we, all we do is hurt each other with words. And I guess, you know, it's not that the words themselves hurt, it's the intent to hurt, you know? It, that's the part that sucks. And this is getting really real for a moment, but I think about this a lot. Because, you know, like, I think about, you know, myself, my achievements, where am I, what am I doing, like, what, what, what are my, what am I celebrating, you know? Oh, no. Apparently that flash can kill you. Didn't know that. Didn't know that that flash could actually murder you dead. Um, I think about my achievements and then I, you know, I invent a person who's like, well, you know, and it's not like I'm, I'm off base by saying these people exist, you know, like, oh, you, you know, why are you celebrating? That's nothing. I, I've seen them. I mean, they, you know, they've turned up at my doorstep, you know, kind of thing. Like, well, whatever, you're, you're bad at video games. I'm like, yeah, so? What are you doing? You're just, like, here trying to make me feel bad. Like, that is literally all you're doing. And maybe you're better at video games, but, like, you are in... You are here trying to make me feel bad. Like, that's... That is what you're doing. And it's... The intent is worse than the crime itself. It's like you, you, you wanting to do harm in the world. Isn't there enough harm? Like, is there not enough badness in this world? Maybe, maybe that's the problem. Maybe you have a lot of badness in your life. You're trying to make, you're trying to offload it. Offload a, a dram of badness. It doesn't really work that way. You know, you, you're still going to feel bad. It's still going to suck. Things are going to suck. And it doesn't, it doesn't make you feel any better. You know what makes me feel good sometimes is like, you know, sometimes when I'm feeling low, I'm feeling like genuinely not good. I, I go and um, seek some indies out. I'm, I'm not, I'm not kidding, by the way. I go and seek out um, like a, an indie dev whose game I enjoyed. And I let them know, hey, by the way, like I played your game and I really liked it. And you like it makes their day. 
I know like words hurt, but also words can like put someone in a high for like a good week. And if you can give that to someone, if you can make someone feel good, it, it makes my day as well. You know, like you've done something good. You actually put some good into the world, even if you didn't have any, you know, what? I'm hearing some grunts and I'm and groans and I'm not liking it. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is our stash. So what do we got? We got two military service outfits. Uh, we had, have a... Hello, it is the parade. Uh, there's still more. Still more zombies. <sighs> the waviness is, is so intense that I, I thought that there was like a creepy monster. Still alive. Okay, you're dead now. Um, so are these any good? Even, it seems like, I, I don't know if holding alt shows us like how good, like the potential of this thing is. I believe that's what it does, but I'm not really sure. But anyway, these these don't seem particularly worthwhile. So I am going to uh, disassemble all of them. Uh, we did get advanced tools. That is actually amazing for us. Anyway, you know, uh, not to not to dump like my problems. I, I don't mean to make you feel bad. Uh oh. Another one, huh? Um, you know, even by proxy, even by saying, you know, like, because, you know, people, uh, influencers, YouTubers, um, they, they have a weird job. I know it's, it's not talked about very often. Um, but it's honestly the worst part about doing this in any capacity is you have to pretend that things are great all of the time. Um, because even mentioning that things are not great kind of ruins someone's day a little bit and uh i'm not good at that part you know I'm, I'm kind of a downer sometimes and it sucks um and maybe maybe i'm not not very good at this job sometimes but like you know i don't uh i gotta i gotta find something to say you know sometimes not everything i, I can say is great <laughs> as if right Okay, so what's going on here? The the dude is still there. M Master Cherniak. I don't really want to do that. I won't lie. Um, so I am going to move on for now. I'll save. I, I, part of the reason I don't want to do that, honestly, is because I'm already running into uh, encumbrance problems. Like, really bad encumbrance issues. Like, I need to deal with a bunch of our stuff. Um, including... Uh, I, I really need to, like... Dump some stuff back at the farm and, um, cook some food. I need to do a bunch of stuff. Um, I'll probably end up doing a pause in this video at some point just to... Just to do that, because I don't, you know, I don't like to include the um, inventory management. So now, how can I get out of here? I didn't really think about this part. Okay, it looks like there's an exit there. Um, something I guess I could do is I could, uh, you know, deal with my inventory problems and then come back and then maybe. Master Cherniak is still here. I really don't think it's a good idea. I really don't think me doing this right now is a, is a good idea. Like I, I'm still kind of recovering from my last trip to the the lab. You know, like th that was a major resource hog, and um, I need I need a moment. You know, like I need to recover. I, one of the reasons I'm using my 
SKS is because I, I mean, you know, like I ran out of all of my other bullets. So, uh, you know. Anyway, all I'm saying is that, uh, you know, like you invent a, invent a, invent a person. Don't, you know, don't make someone feel bad because they're happy about the thing they did. You know, even if the thing they did isn't as impressive as the thing that you did. And I'm not, it's not an accusation. I'm not saying that people in my comments are doing this, but I have, I have seen it. I actually, um, you know, not to call this person out, but I doubt they'll ever watch this video. I had someone in, in, uh, like one of my tutorial videos talking like, oh, well I stopped watching cause you recommended mods. I'm like my dude, my, my brother in Christ, as they say, um, I, I recommended the mod for you. Do you know what I mean? The, it was for your benefit. You don't have to install the mod. I, I go on to explain that, like, you know, the, the, the mod is not necessary. I just don't understand. I don't understand people making life more difficult for themselves. It's such, such a strange thing. It's like, you know, Caves of Cud. It's a, it's a, you know, difficult game. I think it's fair to say it's a pretty difficult game. At least it's difficult to learn, um, you know, when you're first starting out. It's a lot to, to figure out when you're first starting out. And to, like, just immediately from the get-go, like, no, I want this experience to be as painful as possible. Like, my, my dude, the mod is there to help you learn the game, not make the game easier the game is hard enough. Stop it. Stop making things more difficult. Anyway. I, uh, you know, uh, weird problems to have. Uh, I am officially over encumbered and I'm still picking up stuff. Yeah, I, I am like officially super encumbered. I wonder, um, let's, let's uh, unequip this Kevlar. And maybe I have another thing that will assist us. Yeah, this controller scalp gives us 25 um, kilograms, but so, or not 25, um, 2.5. And so does this uh, Chimera. So that'll help a, a little bit, but not very much, admittedly. I am curious about this AKS-74 because it does have a suppressor, but let's be honest, I have enough guns. So let's go ahead and disassemble that. That'll probably help a little bit. Um, not as much as I was hoping, to be honest. This stupid field equipment... Oh, it's actually only 5 kilograms. That is, like, not really our problem right now. You know what is my problem? I don't have any fuel. So I can't cook all of this here food. I've got all of this food. And it's taking up quite a lot of space. Actually, even that is not taking up all that much room. Um... So let's unload some of this ammo. How much is... That's almost a kilogram. I'm going to do a pause here so I can offload a, lot, a bunch of this crap. Okay. I'm still gravely over-encumbered, but I'm going to go ahead and not care. Um, I am going to... Well, we could go to the bar. Um, what do we got there? We got another stash. I really should just go back to the farm. Like, I really should. And we even have... Oh, I guess that's... Uh, yeah, we have our advanced tools. So I, I should... I'm going to go back to the farm. And uh, I'll probably end up doing some inventory management. And um, what I'll probably do is... Uh, well, I have a bunch of things to do now. Because I, I have advanced tools and expert tools to hand in to our dude. So we'll see what kind of new stuff he has to offer. Maybe I have some new things I can make. Um, there's a lot of new things that have, uh, have opened up for us. Uh, I definitely have to do a bit of, well, there's not really, like, I, I kept things pretty repaired. I don't think there's too much to do, uh, to our equipment, but, um, there might be some choices to make in terms of our new equipment, because I, I'm, like, I'm hoping that the guy is going to sell us, uh, a bunch of recipes, and those are going to cost us, and that is 100% worth buying. Um for some of the like major equipment like you know things things are this is this is a big deal uh i always hate spawning in here yep
There's almost always a dude here. Did I kill him? Do a quick save. Oh, there he, yeah, he's still alive. Anyone else around here? Bandits at the farm. Uh, ooh, this guy's got some stuff. But I kind of don't want to deal with this right now. I, I want to hand over our stuff. Hoping... Yeah, they, I, I hate, like, fast traveling to the farm because there's almost always bandits here now for some reason. Really sucks. All right, dude. Job is done. There you go. Advanced tools. 1,300 or 13,000. That's already a big deal. Um, any work you need done? Uh, never mind. Any work you want done? Never mind. Any work? Expert tools. I'll do it. Excuse me? Oh, we have a blood, suck a blood sucker nearby. Jesus. Why? Why? That usually informs me that there's an actual monster nearby. Damn, okay. I'm just gonna grab all of this. Oh god, I can't move now. Why did I do that? That was so silly. Uh, he's got an SVT. I'll just disassemble that. This should allow us to move. Oh, no, I still need to drop something. Why did I do this? So stupid. We've got 762.54. Is that what I need? No, we need... We need 39. Um, all right, let's, uh, can I, what can I drop? Let's drop, I, I don't want to drop this field equipment case, but I will. I'll drop this field equipment case for just the time being. I hate doing that. I, I, you know, last time I did that, I lost it forever. Alright, dude, job is done. Find expert tools. 17,000. We're making really good money right now. Alright, so what do you have? Do you have anything new? Not really. Survival guide. It may be that he needs to, like, he needs to renew his, uh, shop. I don't know if this, like, takes a moment. Like he, uh, it might mean it might be that I have to wait a couple, like an actual in-game day, before he uh, his his supplies are renewed. Not sure. Um, yeah. Uh, well, let's let's just um, sell my mutant parts for now. Uh, I'll, pr I'll come back to him in a second. I, I can't believe that giving him two new, two extra kits won't have long-term effects. Look at all of the scopes that fit the SKS Molot. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a 4X. A little bit concerned about what's happening here. Um, do we have a 4X? Pan a pancreatic sniper sight. Not sure what that means. I kind of wish some of this language was a little bit more um, clear. Night sight. Night sight. No eye cup. I kind of wish I could try these out before I buy them. 
what we can do one thing is uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this scope because it looks nice um, we've got a bunch of s bullets to sell I don't know if I do want to sell them though yeah we could sell them why not I know why not but I, I don't want to hear it right now to be honest I just want to like get rid of stuff and get a nice scope um I, I actually just need to buy some if I, if I get some fuel then I can cook all of this stuff up do we have any like valuables I usually do no not this time okay okay let's um let's let me let me think first of all we got a, a small bore rifle kit the reason that's good is i can um i need to strip my adar i had an adar with a ton of uh upgrades on it and i want to strip it for the for the uh upgrades i like the adar um but i kind of more enjoy uh what have i been using actually i've got so much stuff now Hey, look at that. I did have a deal in DVL. Um, gosh, what have I been using? Oh, yeah, this L85. I like this L85 more, and I like the scope on it. Um, I think just in general, it's a, it's a nice gun. 33 damage. I might switch to this AR-15. This is also 33 damage. I don't know. It's got better fire rate. Magazine is nicer. Although the L85 uses... A, I, have, I, I have 100 bullet mag for it so it doesn't matter 96 percent accurate 83 but with upgrades the l85 uh, or the um ar-15 will probably be comparable okay well you don't you don't want to see this so i'm going to do a little bit of maintenance um i will check back when, with our guy maybe i'll do a sleep to see if he renews his, his stock because i can't believe that this is all he has um so let me get back to you and I'll, I'll, I'll update this uh, as things come up. All right, just uh, updating, as I say, as things uh, happen, I've, I've, I bought some lock picks and opened that field kit and we have a updated or a upgraded PDA, which is already great. I'm actually very excited to see, no, whoops. I was like, whoa, that, that looks different. That does not, that is not what we're looking at um so this areas stashes i think this is mostly the same secondary tasks oh i see we can turn these on and off those those are the same as they were before um i don't know what this does differently i think it might offer a couple of quality of life features um, we can actually just look at it in our inventory this uh scientific di oh wait whoops wrong one again uh meant to encompass wait hold on low electric power consumption shows location of nearby squads from your group can be upgraded at mechanic to show dead bodies well that's really nice dang do, would you upgrade my pda you would for five thousand uh yeah do do it do it my dude awesome um, I wonder if you would give anything. He still hasn't upgrade, uh, updated his stuff, by the way. Um, like, this all feels like more or less the same stuff. I'm a little bit worried that he's not going to actually sell me any the, any the anything else. Um, I did uh, strip the upgrades from our ADAR. I was just wondering if he would buy my old PDA. Would you buy my old PDA? Yes, you would. Nice. Please buy my old PDA. I don't know if there's any reason to keep it. I sure hope there's not. He's probably just buying the battery, honestly. Um, so, yeah. I'm pr like, I'll sleep for like a, a day and see what's up. Uh, I wanted to buy vodka, but I, I, I seem unable to, to do that here. Um, and I'm just kind of dirtling for now. I'm, I'm stripping, you know, bullets and... Uh, <sighs> Well, actually, I wanted to I wanted to dump the upgrades in here and see if we can't upgrade our weapons. So what I'll do is I'll pull out our L85 and see if we can upgrade it. Um, so let me, you know, I, I rarely capture this stuff on cam, but here we here we are. 
So this thing, uh, we have a couple of upgrades for. Our L85 is, like, we're looking at the end game of our L85 um, a little bit. So we've got a couple of these. This is reliability, and this is caliber. Wait, what? You can upgrade the caliber? Complex integrated uh, weapons mechanical and automated parts, which allows its caliber to be changed at the cost of reliability. I didn't realize that that was a thing. So it's a, it takes... We could upgrade it to take 39. 556 versus 545. So we could upgrade it to take 545, 39. How much 545, 39 do I have, I wonder? Do I have much? I, I probably have, like, disassembled any and all of it. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any. So that upgrade upgrade is not honestly that good for us. So, I yeah, it, it's an interesting idea. Um, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Maybe it's a more common thing. Then we've got reliability plus 35%. Reliability. I was kind of hoping we could do... Well, we could upgrade flatness, which I think means that your bullets arc less if I'm taking a wild st stab there. Um, well, we could do this one. This one's probably the easiest, like, freebie. But then we have our um, SKS Molot. I'm tempted to do some upgrading here. What I'll probably... What I'd like to do, actually. Let's just upgrade... The L85, what, whatever I can do for the time being. So, like, reliability, that's fine. Um, reliability. We could do reliability and I think also handling. I think I'd rather do that because I, I, I like to upgrade the handling if I can. Really, honestly, I don't know the big difference. So, apparently, I don't have the kit for handling. So, it's going to be just a lot of reliability. That's fine. That means it, hopefully it'll never jam. So that's the L85, um, you know, upgraded quite a bit. Uh, and then I'll upgrade the SKS, what I what I have with, like, left, which is a lot of basic um, upgrades, nothing, nothing too expensive. We could also make upgrades to our shotgun, which I do use quite a lot. Like, accuracy is actually not a bad one. But, you know, this is stuff I, I'm, I'm going to be doing, like, on my own. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. All right, still dirtling a little bit, but um, one thing I did want to capture was the crafting of this chim not chimera, pseudo giant elixir. Pseudo giant elixir. This thing is ridiculous. Um, probably will kill us, but I, I just kind of love the idea of it. So I'm not going to even carry this with me. I don't like... I don't know. I'll probably save this for the end of the game. I don't even know what the end of the game looks like, but I, I'd rather I, I'd rather not be tempted to use this. Don't don't tempt me, Frodo. Um, let's throw that back in there. Um, still, I'm just trying to shed some weight. We're down to uh, like a, a hundred kilograms, which is not bad. Um, Definitely, I dropped a lot of these cavaliers. By the way, we did get it also in that um, field. Thing, field uh, um, equipment package. I'm trying to find it now. Where is it? We got a really interesting tool, um, which I'm struggling very much to find. Where are you? Where are you, little friend? God damn, it's gone. <laughs> um, well, basically, it's a automatic like medical delivery. I was looking at buying one. I may have dumped it in here by accident. Mm -hmm. But it's a uh, automatically like uh, injects you with the correct, um, you know, g feel good juice in in the heat of combat, um, which it uh, undeniably will be very valuable. But um, I didn't expect to get one so soon. I don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere. I know it's somewhere. <laughs> I'll have to find it. Anyway, I'm gonna keep dirtling here for a moment, and then we'll get back out there and do some stuff. All right, here we go. This is what I was hoping for. This is what we were... This is what I wanted. <laughs> Look at all of this stuff. We've got um, Hillsaw Expert Tools, Advanced Tools. Not that we need those. I wonder if I buy those, will he, like... He, will he downgrade? Um, he's got Exoskeleton Repair Kit. He's got a Heavy Armor Repair Kit. 
Um, this stuff is all very expensive, but um, he's got the stuff. He's got the juice. Tactical kit for a uh, Walter P99. Um, are his prices better? No, they're pretty much the same. He's got some great. Uh, finally, he has um, casing for small caliber, uh, small rifle caliber bullets. So I can buy this, and this is enough probably to make 60 bullets. Like I, these are always the bottleneck. I never have enough of these casings. And if I buy all of these, look at that. 48 48 rubles versus uh, I don't know like 6,000 sometimes for like a pack of 15 so like you know I could buy well I could you know th that that one's expensive this one's for making the really the really good um bullets but I don't actually need that stuff I usually use the propellant um small rifle so if I was to buy that and like I, I could buy I think all of this well, oh, okay, hold on a second. Let's not get carried away here. Um, my my mouse got caught here. Uh, I could buy all of this, and all of this would be enough to make a bunch of bullets, just a ton of bullets, even that, and that's a thousand rubles. So this guy, he he, like that that is, this is actually good. Like I'm I'm going to do that. And I like that is fantastic, already. But then. We've got engineering manual. Um, I'm gonna buy all of these. Yep, yeah, that's twenty thousand. Uh, then we have survival guides. Then we have mechanics manual. So these are probably worthwhile as well. That's already forty thousand in. Uh, you know, like we're putting a down payment on a house here. Um, safety guide to ammunition, third edition, fourth edition. So this is like you know you're getting you want to get into a new tabletop role playing game and you, you you have to buy the core rule books you know like that's this is what this is what we're looking at. Um, he also sells small uh, small bore rifle repair kits. These are very valuable. Um, I, I am always in need of these because not only can you use these to repair your rifles if you're lazy, um, but also you can use these to uh, strip your old guns of upgrades. Um, so if you need to like upgrade to your a new weapon, you 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 know you found something better, you can strip your old guns. Not I think the rate I have it set to is seventy five percent. So you don't necessarily get everything, but you get quite a lot back. Um, and this is this is very valuable for that. Um, so this is all very good. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. We still we still have a hundred k. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to. Um, I didn't want to buy the to, the mech suit, the exoskeleton, because it was going to be very expensive, and it probably wasn't going to be worth it because I, I really need to be able to buy as much of the parts as I need. So what do we got here? We can make RF receivers. That's fine. Anomaly suppression system. That's cool. Um, we can make handgun repair kits. We can make... Ah, we can... These are uh, for the first two of making your own um armor parts which is really good because if we can disassemble everything down to its base point then we can rebuild up to uh you know something better so that was mechanics one i'm i'm, I'm very excited for this i can finally make our, our next headlamp and actually i already have the um recipe to make the next headlamp so this is something we could do now. I probably don't have the gear necessary to do the next one after that because it, it gets kind of expensive. But like this is already uh, a big deal. Then we can uh, we can start making our own Kevlar army inserts. This is fantastic. We can also make small bore rifle repair kits. So that this is like this is the stuff I've been needing and wanting to do for ages and ages and unable to do. Um, our last mechanics one, uh, this will let us make camelbacks, which are fine. I don't know if I've ever really yearned to make one of those, but we can also make insulation, uh, uh, carbon nanotube layers. These are all, these, these two here are actually what I need in my, um, like my outfit. So that means I could disassemble these down to like pieces of body armor. They all disassemble into like this, like very generic stuff. And then, um, and then we could build them up again. Unfortunately, all of this takes field armor toolkits, and these are pretty expensive. Uh, even if you make them, they take quite a lot of stuff to, to make. 
So then we can make um, 357 rounds. I that may come in handy at some point. Ah, we can make these batteries, these gauze batteries. I think this just lets us recharge. These are for some very strange weaponry that I haven't actually come across yet, as far as I know. Um, then we can make like grenades. So this is good stuff. Um, that was that. And now we've got engineering manuals. These are, uh, these I'm very excited for. So now we can, we could make the PDA that I just got. Uh, we can make an artifact application module. This will, um, this is actually an upgrade from the one that I already made. It protects us from, for up to a level of 23 MSV. So if I happen to find an artifact with a very good positive, um, but it emits a crazy amount of radiation, this will let me actually use it. And then we've got another one. This one actually requires a artifact to make in the first place. This is a health regeneration plus six artifacts. It's a really good artifact and this thing will give us plus one health regeneration. I'm not sure why I would do that. Improved auto dock module. I'm pretty sure the auto dock module is the thing that I just got. We have advanced anomaly suppression system. Oh, these are anomaly suppression. Um, not sure what these do. The device is the pinnacle of anomaly protection system that is in extremely high demand with all science and personnel, not to mention stalkers themselves. Additional data from the incorporated artifact sample allows pulses to be transmitted with less disturbance to the environment takes a interesting artifact to make with burn resistance we can also make armor repair kits very good stuff like i'm taking a lot of time to kind of admire this stuff oh this this one i already read i actually i i did find this engineering um second edition we can make improved surge protector. We shouldn't actually need those. I think I have one of those already. And the last thing will let us make a Svarog detector. This is the best detector, I think. I think this is the best detector. Um, and I will consider making that now. Because I would like to have the best detector that will basically let us find any and all artifacts. I am going to sell back, um, I haven't been selling back the manuals because I think that's kind of cheaty. Um, I've just been like keeping them in our storage, but I am going to sell the second edition one. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Let me just double check. That's the one that I already got. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, this has like the advanced level headlamp. So this is a, this is really good stuff. This is actually like our um semi transition into the end game now that i can make everything question mark i it might very well be everything there's probably a few things i can't make let's be honest um but i am very interested in all of that and i'd like to see if maybe we can make um the best detector let's see uh actually before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and pull out um, I have a few things I can disassemble, some radios, some transmitters. This is why I hoard as much as I do is because for, for moments like these where it's like, oh, I need like two more whatevers in order to, uh, to make the, the, you know, something really cool. Um, I don't have to wait. I just, I can just do it. So we're going to go ahead and disassemble these headlamps. I probably actually needed those headlamps to make, um, yeah, I, I, that, that one actually might have been a mistake in order to make the next headlamp. I might have needed some of those. That's fine, though. I can always wait. I can wait on the headlamp. I actually, I like the headlamp we have right now. It's, um, that doesn't, it's not a, a burning desire for me to have that. But I definitely want the best detector if we can get it. So the last thing is broken detector. Go ahead and disassemble all those. Those are base parts. We do we can actually use those. All right. So let's see here. Equipment. So we can't make everything yet. Obviously, we can't make um, these reactors. These are uh, usable with exoskeletons. Um, but we can pretty much make everything we need, like everything on this page. Now, if we go to devices, 
and Svarog. Ah, uh, we are one pack of capacitors short. Are you kidding me, dude? Man, that sucks. We could get the, the you know, best PDA. It can be upgraded in mechanics to show dead bodies, shows locations of nearby friendly or neutral squads. Um, allows the mechanics to install printed, pirated copies of newest versions of kill tracking software. Oh, that's interesting, but not necessarily nece you know, necessary. Uh, we could make the next headlamp. The one after that, probably not, though. Well, actually, it's not too expensive. Neither of these are super expensive, but... Oh, I really worried that the game crashed there for a moment. Do a save, just in case. Um... We're... We're so close. Oh, you know what? I bet you, um... I bet you dude sells some radios. I bet you one of these guys will sell me some radios and then I can disassemble those and then get our Svarog. Come on, dude. Show me the radios. Well, I mean, he does have a remote de detonator, but that's not really what I want. You have some though, right, bud? I know you do. You must. There's no way you wouldn't. Okay, here we go. We've got a broken flashlight, broken headlamp, uh, walkie-talkie. I don't really want to buy a walkie-talkie. Do you not have any radios? Really? Oh, man, dude. Come on. Come on. I know you're holding out on me. All right, I guess I'll buy this walkie-talkie. Oh, okay, there's a radio. That's a working radio, though. This is placeable. I could actually... I could put this uh, near my my little workshop. And we could listen to music. And I could get DMCA'd somehow. Alright, let's buy all that. And then let's hope that I get a pack of capacitors or transistors or whatever the heck I need out of one of these. Okay, I think I think that did it. I'm I'm pretty sure we're good. Last thing, just to be sure. I never do this stuff on camera, and I you know the reason is is it's very laborious, time consuming, and probably pretty boring. Um, look at that, we can make all the repair kits. I was excited for this though. This this had it had to to be on camera. Um, we can't quite make every single armor. Or sorry, ammo. Um, we can make every single armor component. But we need a bunch of these pieces of armor. Uh, which means I'm going to have to off-camera disassemble a bunch of com like components. Um, which sucks. There's still stuff that I'm missing. Application of artifacts on small arms. Sin ritual book. Small arms report volume. These are things that we're missing. And then there's these application of flash artifact fields to engine power. These are probably what give us those, um, like, surge uh, components, you know, things, these things. Uh, the, the reactors. Um, all right. So oh, what was I doing? We were going to go to devices and we're going to make ourselves a Sparag. And yes, we just barely have all of the parts we need. So let's do it. It's a shame I, I only have just enough parts because I would have liked to make the next um, headlamp as well. This is going to mean I'm going to have to get it jailbroken again. Oh, shoot. Was I supposed to... Was I supposed to d um, take off the, the, the thing first? I might have just destroyed my... Uh-oh. I think I did. I think I'm going to have to load... Because I'm, I'm seeing the detector, but I'm not tra seeing the trans, um, transmogrifier, whatever it was called. E I I'm not seeing it. It doesn't seem to be a thing. Uh, transmutation module not installed. I think it ate it. <laughs> oh god, that's so stupid. Well, luckily I just saved. 
but uh yeah i'll let me do a pause and i'll do this correctly sorry all right I, I i have done it um unfortunately when i loaded it shuffled the guy's um inventory the shopkeeper so he didn't have all of the same stuff and also when you disassemble something it's kind of a gotcha whether or not you get the right parts so i had to reload a, a couple a few times actually before i finally got the right <laughs> combination of of you know dice rolls to get our stuff but there we go we've got our sparog um detector and we do have a transmutation module installed so that's all very good um we can dump the rest of our stuff in here and we can actually go and do something i, I know it's been a lot of this for a bit oops didn't mean to drop my uh food in there i do need some more vodka we could head north um to you know pick up some food i'm kind of semi running out of food like um, i've got some that can be cooked but i need i need to you know the, the vodka to to make it so i think we're finally good i don't think there's anything else we need to do here um let's have a look at our map see what we can see uh there is something to do in the meadow and uh, we're pretty close we might as well head over there i like the meadow it's nice it can be dicey, but, you know, I haven't seen anything too nasty at the meadow. Um, I mean, I spent a little bit of money, so I, I would like to recover some of our funds. Oh, we have to eliminate dangerous mutants here, um, kill the stalker, scout the area, retrieve the encrypted document. Oh, yeah, I have to deliver that stupid thing, um... We have a locked case we have to deliver to, to skin flint whatever his name is but um there's a few boxes to check um is that dude i wonder is that, is that master monolith still in the lab yeah he is oh, wait no this is dead no that's the antar he is still in uh the lab i don't know if he's actually in the lab he may actually just be in the area, but I don't think I want to do that. I might do that in the next episode. We're certainly not going to do it this episode. Um, got too much, too much to do, you know? Too much nothing to do. Oh, God. Here comes the Mr. Helicopter. What is that? That's not the sun, is it? First time I've noticed that in the sky there. Wonder if that's anything. Well, something is seeing us. Well, it's probably the helicopter. Uh, there's a couple of zombies over there. It might have been them. Oh, God! Oh, God. Why is all of my guns unloaded right now? My God. Jesus. Kill a psi sucker. This is apparently a psi sucker. Let's um let's use our serve. I've I've got enough damage that it, it's justified. Man, that sucked. Bandage up. Stop the bleeding. Use a, uh, ifac. Okay, we're good. Let's see if we can get anything. Awful, awful, awful play that happened there. We got Psy Sucker meat and Psy Sucker skin. Decent. Um, 
Yeah, that was that was really bad. I like uh, none of my guns were loaded. <laughs> I don't know why not. Um, let's pull out this and make sure that that's loaded. Put some bullets in our mags. Cool. I took some nasty damage. Our our, our vest, honestly. This is not great. That's I'm gonna pay for that later in the form of doing even more item management Which just sucks um, This is the way to the meadow. I always make this mistake don't I I make this at least every single time I Try and go to the meadow is I'm like yeah that tunnel is the way over there, right? Nope No, in fact the, the way to the meadow is in fact going towards um, you know that hill that meadow shaped hill you know Okay, friend. Hey, and my mini map shows me that it's a friend. Nice. Hey, friend, do you want to join me? No. You want a grooming kit? Unfortunately, I left all of those back at my stash. That's unfortunate. You can tell it's unfortunate because I said unfortunate twice. All right. So, um, we have to retrieve some kind of detector here with some information. It shouldn't be too hard. Nothing really spicy at the meadow. I say that, but I mean, I did just encounter a psi sucker at Cordon. So, you know, anything is possible. Let's go ahead and put an actual full mag in our pistol and then fill our magazine. All right. I mean, I have seen some spicy stuff here. This was the first place I saw a uh, poltergeist. So it's not like there's nothing here. You know, I gotta say, um, one of the funny things about doing these, like, retrieve the lost goods quest is there's always a pile of dogs. <laughs> And I always just get a ton of food for doing these quests. And it's, you know, I'm not not going to look a gift dog in the face. Um, but it's it's funny, you know, the, the game has a, a sort of a sense of humor that I, I benefit from because it's like, oh, yeah. Well, you have to have a reason for them to die. So let's just like generate a bunch of dead dogs on their body. All right, next stop is we're gonna go here. Well, how come I can't spawn there? Oh, it's because the marker is like right there. We're gonna go to the train hangar and we're going to um, hand in a quest. I'm making, I'm working my way up north. Um, eventually, we'll go to the, get to the bar, deliver a couple quests there, and then go to army warehouse and deliver another quest there uh, and a, a package. Um, and that's gonna give us a, a bit of money. Um, I might, uh, and each of those locations, I'm going to basically buy any disassemblable, like, components wherever I see them, like walkie-talkies, headlamps, uh, radios. I'm going to make a habit of doing this because I, I am now in great demand of capacitors and uh, any number of, like, components. Oh, God! Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah, okay, bud. There's three of them. Three of these, like, mudmers or whatever they're called. Uh, now when I, like, spawn in, it's gonna spawn me in front of them. This is so stupid. Why would you put three of them here? That's so dumb. <laughs> <gasps> Come on, bud. Come on. <laughs> Why would you put three of them? Yeah. Oh, it's such an awful sound, too. Um, all right. So let's let's uh, make a plan here. Actually, can is this a it's a good moment for a grenade, I think.
Oh, of course there are also bandits. Oh, that's my only friend, actually. Okay, that's one dead. That's another one dead. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm gonna save against better judgment because two of these, uh, two of those gremlins are dead. Oh God. Apparently uh, one of the gremlins is still alive because I can still hear them somewhere. things to worry about Okay, that that hurt. I hate this whispering uh, I am bleeding I'm gonna have to patch up Fortunately, I still have a friend here Okay It's another one dead there's still a freaking mutant here somewhere The worst part is it could be like anywhere Hey, do you want to yeah, let's explore as a team um, They'll help me find it because they'll be able to see it like regardless of where it is I just need this stupid whispering to stop Maybe, maybe this is a sound bug. Oh God, I guess sure hope not. Actually, let me grab those since that. All right, well, I'm gonna do some inventory management here. Um, I, I have a funny, f I only see two of them here, so I know it's not dead. But uh, not much I can do about it right now. So I'm just gonna have to deal with this sound effect until I find it But I should be able to take care of it, especially with a new friend and hey, we got a new friend. So that's nice um, If you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this I'll See you next time Yeah, I'll see you next time. I keep expecting to find it. See you later